what's up mga bagsak Char. hello hello again madlang students so welcome sa to ang uh, online uh, tutorial so today we're gonna discuss about uh, the introduction to regular income tax so we know that uh, there are three types of income taxes to include the final tax then we have the capital gains tax and now today we are going to discuss about the regular income tax so we are now going to focus the regular income tax or it is also called as the basic income tax or the what do we call this uh, the normal income tax so now so these characteristics includes this five general coverage a net income tax an annual tax creditable withholding tax progressive or proportional tax it is called general in coverage because uh, all types of income will be subject to a uh, regular income tax except those who are already subject to final tax and then capital gains tax or other uh, taxing policy now it is a net income tax because it is netted with a certain deductions so net in the sense that uh, a certain uh, deductions are to be deducted in order for get to be in order to get the taxable income annual an annual tax because it is to be filed annually and then creditable withholding tax because uh, for example, kung ikaw ang resident citizen, dahil ni abroad ka, then you earn income in abroad, of course, you are subject to income within and without. So if you pay taxes on that certain country already, then once you go back to the Philippines, dahil mag-file ka ITR, kati mo na bayan dito nga tax from that country, pwede ni mo siya madidak as creditable withholding tax. And progressive or proportional tax in the sense that uh, our taxing policy in the Philippines is uh, well, progressive, meaning the more income you earned, the more uh, tax that you are going to pay to the government. Then uh, we have here the regular basic or normal income tax model. So the regular basic or normal income tax model show this data. So this data or this model is common whether it is individual or a corporation taxpayer. It starts with a gross income deducted by allowable deductions, then you get taxable income and then multiply by the tax rate, so which is tabular. It is said that it is tabular because again, uh, for individual only, individual lang niya siya, we are going to base our tax rate on a tabular form. And then we get our tax due. So after tax due, you see CWT. CWT means creditable withholding tax. So muna akong ganyan kanina na pwede siya nimo deduct sa mong tax due, then you can get the tax still due. Nga mo ang barrier for the BIR. So that is in case only for those resident citizen na Pwede niyo makredit tong tuwang kuan. But there are also other cases that as not resident citizen, maka deduct sa creditable withholding taxes. Now, following the income tax model is here the gross income and what composed gross income. So, we have here in gross income, not the exclusions, inclusions, as well as the special topic. So, when we say inclusions, mga income na wala labot as part of the gross income. Wala siya labot kay maybe exempted siya sa tax or non-taxable siya or wala siya labot kay subject na siya daan sa other taxing policies such as final tax, transfer taxes, or a capital gains tax. Manang excluded siya. Or inclusions means that this is a, there is a general rule sa inclusions na tanang types sa income are to be included. So, except katuntua siyang subject sa 
final tax or capital gains tax. And we have here other special topics that is either excluded or included, such as French benefits and delinquent properties, which will be furtherly discussed in the next chapter. So, nag yung mga butang uh, i- appeal sa itong kinabuhi or wala on sa ito ang kinabuhi. Just like gross income. Ang bahong gotrege hapon, Charla. Okay, now, again, uh, excluded income are also exempt income. However, not all excluded income are exempted income because they may be subject to other tax policies such as capital gains tax, final tax, or other taxes. Maunang wala na sila appeal as part of the gross income in the regular income tax. Then we have here allowable deductions. So allowable deductions, we have here uh, the principles of deductions, regular allowable deductions, special allowable deductions, and null konolko means the net operating loss carry over, and then the OSD or optional standard deduction. So uh, this will be furtherly discussed again for the succeeding chapter. Uh, in this, this is just an introduction. So, introduction pa sa regular income tax. So, introduce lang o kung say composition sa income tax model. Uh, personal exemption, uh, personal exam expenses rather are not deductible. So, kanang na ang mga gasto nato personally, hindi na siya deductible for tax purposes. Only those who are uh, which are related in the business ang deductible. Then we have here types of individual income earner na atay to look at types. So purely compensation, one is sila ang mga individual income earner na ang ilang income is sa pagpanaybaho lang jud. Ilang source of income agi sa pagpangimpleyo. Then ang pure business or professional income. So balik po ni siya ang iyang source po sa income is dili sa pagpangimpleyo kundi pinaagi sa pag pangnegosyo. And then we have mixed income earner. So from the word itself, mix. So it's either uh, na siya'y trabaho plus na po siya'y business. So muna siya'y tulong ka type sa individual income earner. Ngayon ang kinahanglan mo na ito yung identify ni niya siya. Of course, dahil lahat man na sila o uh, income tax return na pang So kanin purely compensation income earner, lahat na siya kuan. Mahibaw, ara po na naan na to. Pero kanang na ang compensation na ang kinatawagan nila is substituted filing. So instead na sila may mato sa BIR, ang ila ang mga employer may mo file uh, para nila. Munang na sila. Uh, individuals not engaged in business cannot claim deduction. So this means that uh, kung purely compensation income earner ka, wala kay deduction. Kaya only ang imo makuha na naa is personal expenses man. And again, personal expenses that is not deductible. Uh, take note here of oh, personal exemption. Um, makakita magali mo personal exemption sa una na personal exemption. But with the advent of train law, giwala na 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 ang personal exemption. Ang train law, effectivity sa train law is January 1, 2018 man. So pag January 1, 2018, wala na personal exemption. Ang per the information na ninyo, ang personal exemption sa una is 150,000. Maximum na siya, 150,000. Subject po na siya sa mga requisites. But since wala naman na siya, so di na kayo na to na siya i-discuss o oh, heavy kay kana na ang uh, makalangan na na siya and then kinili naman po na siya kayo, kinahanglan ka ron. So here, we have here a tax model on the purely compensation. So we have gross compensation, less non-taxable compensation, equals taxable income. So take note, ang giles is this the daily deduction, but the non-taxable compensation income. So only those taxable nga compensation income ang ato ang taxan. So di ba? For purely compensation income, no personal ex- expenses, I mean no as well as no deduction ang i-appeal. Then we have here tax model for pure business or professional income earner. So here, nana shy allowable deductions. So, nana shy allowable deduction. So uh, we have here gross income. Then we have add non operating expenses. Then we can get the gross income. Then uh, less deductions. Then we can get the taxable income. So that is for the pure business. Uh, or professional income earner. 
Then we have income tax reporting for MAT4 uh, in the selling of or in the merchandising type of business or in a manufacturing type of business wherein there is a need to compute the cost of sale. So, kana siya. Normal lang, di ba? We have sales minus cost of sales equals the gross income. Then we have allowable deductions and then the net income. So, as you have observed here, as you have observed, uh, even with the corporate uh, corporate taxpayer, the same ratio gihapon siya. Di ba? We have net sales, cost of sales, they on total gross income, and then allowable deductions. So, whether it is individual, or a corporation it still follows with our uh, still follow with our uh, income tax model sa so, ganito tong income tax model the gross income less allowable deduction equals the taxable income dayon we have multiplied by the tax rate equals the tax due then minus creditable withholding tax if there are any then tax still true so, muna siya. Diba? All, everything is in the here. In the formula. Whether you are individual taxpayer and what type of individual taxpayer baka, purely compensation with business or mixed income earner or you are a corporation. Kana ragigihapon. Di haragigita magtuyok-tuyok. And all of our discussions in the regular income tax will uh, kuan ka na follow this model. So, to continue, we have here types again of income tax payer. We have individual tax payer and corporate tax income tax. So, uh, with that, muna siya ay mga uh, tax payer. Nga nung kinahanam na to siya identify because these two lahi-lahi din sila o koan ka na ang tax rate. Tax table for an individual income earner. So, under the train law, starting 2018 to 2012, muniya ang tax table. How are we going to read this tax table? It means that in this column is the annual income. Annual income na siya. In this column is the tax rate. Meaning, kung kani mo ang income, for example, kani, if 250,000 and below ang imo ang annual income, wa kay mabaryan kay zero man ang mo ang tax rate. However, if your income exceeds 250,000 pero wala pud siya kaabot og 400,000, magbayad ka og 20% pero sa excess over 250,000. Example, na kay income nga 300,000. 300 annual income nimo. So ang imong annual income nilapas siya sa 250,000. So minus 250,000. Minus 200. So, naay excess na 50,000. So, kanang excess na 50,000, muna siya i-multiply o 20%. So, muna yung variant nga tax. Tax due. Now, in this third pod, for example, if mula pa siya o 400,000, pero wala siya kabot o 800,000, ang imo daw mabariyan nga tax is magbayad ka o 30,000 plus 25% excess sa 400,000. For example, naakay in taxable income nga 500,000. Muna yung taxable income, 500,000. So, di ba, nalapas siya o 400,000. Pero wala siya kabot o 800,000. So, minus na ito na siya 400,000. So, naay excess nga 100,000. Now, kana excess nga 100,000, muna ito i-multiply sa 25%. And that is 25,000. Diba? So, aside from paying 25%, that is just 25% on excess of 400,000. So, we are still going to add 30,000. Kaya, oh, 30,000 man daw plus the excess. So, all in all, kana na mabaryan as taxable income. As mean tax due if your income is 500,000. So, that is how you are going to read the income tax table for an individual. So, nakabase siya sa table. Tabula ang iya ang form. Now, for the corporation, 
ay before we go to the corporation, napa siya ginatawag na optional 8% na income tax. This optional 8% income tax is applicable only for individual pero for those who are self-employed and professionals only. Or meaning, those who are engaged in business. Dili siya pwede sa mga purely compensation income earners. So kung purely compensation income earner, ka, di ba, tulungan to at to income tax payer, Kung purely compensation income earner ka, dili ka pwede ani. You are just going to compute your tax true based on the tax table previously discussed. Now here, the optional 8% income tax are for the self-employed or for those who engage in business. This is in lieu of tax table, katong ganina, and then the 3% percentage business tax. What is the basis of 8%? The 8% of sales or receipts. na mo na yung basis ni Mananaa. So, kung magamit ka ng 8%, di na ka mag-table. Kung magamit ka ng table, di na po ka mag-8%. So, option. Option doon ang naasya for the individual who has a business. Now, going through with the corporation. The corporation is unlike individual na tax table, kasi siya flat rate. Flat rate. 30% of taxable income. So, Kasi ang pagpila na yung taxable income di Ana, maabot ba ng 1 million, 400,000, 800,000, multiply na siya sa og 30%. However, we have this MCIT or Minimum Corporate Income Tax. So, yung Minimum Corporate Income Tax, muna yung minimum ni mo nga mabaryan. So, meaning, we are going to compare the RCIT, or the RCIT versus the MCIT. Kung ahay mas taas nila. So, meaning, whichever is higher ano yung niya. So, kung taas ang MCIT, so, katong MCIT, kay minimum man yun to ni mga baryan sa tax. So, kung taas ang RCIT, so, katong to ako ni mga baryan, kay mga yun to baryan, for it baryan, baryan nun, taxable income sa corporation. So, again, back to the basic principle, ang BIR ganahan na siya kung daghan sa nang makulikta nga kwarta. So that is why we have here MCIT. The basis of MCIT is 2% of the gross income. Now to quantify it, understand it more deeply. For example, not a illustrative example. So we have here RCIT and MCIT. So na income, na income ang na taxable income ang ko nga. For example, uh, 100,000. 100,000. So times 30% of that is 30,000. For example, na kay gross income nga, o the gross income, kanina siya taxable income niha, taxable income. The gross income is 1 million. So 2% of 1 million that is just 20,000. So here, ang imong baryan is 30,000 kay mas taas man siya sa RCIT. Ay MCIT rather. Now, kung mahimo pud siya, for example, the same Yung mong taxable income is 100,000, 30% o 30,000. Na kung imo ang gross income, mahimo siya o 2 million. O 2% of 2 million is 40,000. So now, here, kaya mas taas naman yung MCIT, meaning minimum corporate income tax, mo siya na yung minimum mga babaryan, 40,000. Uh, compared to 30,000, so now, you are going to pay 40,000 because it is much higher than your RCIT. So, In short, in corporation, you have to compare, compute both the RCIT and then the MCIT to really identify tax for the corporation. So here shows the ITRs. Or what form ang ato ang fill up and if you are individual taxpayer and what type of individual taxpayer, baka purely compensation or mixed income earner or purely business, kung sa nga BIR form ang himuha nga pilapan. As well as kung corporate income taxpayer po ka. Sa mga BIR forms lang na naas nila. Then, we have here, kanus asya mo baya, the deadline for the filing of ITR is again for individual uh, purely compensation income earner is annual. Annual na siya. So, kung annual ang imong angkuan, kung annual, annual is April 15. Oh, where in fact, karon sa ito ang mga ipang agian nga mga pandemic, karon sa COVID, oh, diba? walang makakapigil sa BIR. Mga liktar, gagawa po sila April 15. Walay extension. Oh, because that is the principle of lifeblood theory. Diba? 
lifeblood theory. So, April 15 ang purely compensation. Pag-engage in business, oh, quarterly and annual. Mixed income earner, quarterly po siya and annual. So, kung quarterly and annual, again, an annual is April 15, ang quarterly, so it follows here. Kanina siya. Kana, muna yung mga quarterly. ITR. So, kanusa siya nga mag June niya, June dates niya. So, with that, that ends our discussion with the introduction of a regular income tax. So, the next discussion will focus now on the, again, on the gross income na dahil siya, focusing na sa gross income, what to exclude and what to include in the gross income. So, so stay tuned for another discussion. Have a nice day.